Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I have another garden update video for you. It's been a few months since my uh, previous garden update. A lot has happened in the past couple months, which is really crazy. And so I'm gonna take the camera into my little garden and show you what's been happening. I have some, um, some sad news as well as some good news to show you. Um, all right, so let's go into the garden and show you what's going on. All right, so first of all, here we are in my little breakfast nook. And you notice I have some plants inside and I'll explain why. Um, this is my loquat tree, the big one right there with the big leaves. They really don't like the extreme heat when they're young. So I brought him inside. Um, the two little guys over there, those are my uh, two of my avocados. Um, those also do not, this particular avocado variety, when they're young and immature, do not like the heat. And this is my apple tree. It's not doing very well. Um, I can't, uh, I don't know why it's not doing that well. Um, so I brought him inside to see if I can uh, determine what the issue is. He has grown quite a bit since the, just a couple months ago. And here is my avocado that I grew from seed as well. Um, this really, guy was really tall and doing really awesome, but I had to cut him way back. So this dark spot, this brown stuff right here, see if we can get it to focus on my hand. It got sunburnt really, really bad. Yes, trees can get sunburnt and it pretty much killed the whole top of the tree. So I chopped it off and um, it's still nice and green. And as you can see, there's these little new growths coming on the tree, which I am excited about. So the tree's not dead. It just uh, had to be pruned way back. So there we go. Now let's go outside and check out the rest of the, the garden. This guy right here is my Moringa. He's probably, I don't know, maybe two feet taller than he was before when I showed you. This is my uh, fig tree. Got some figs on there. Look at that fig right there. Really nice. I've already eaten one fig off of here. I have one right up there as well. This is my Lee jujube tree. And there's a nice little jujube fruit right up there at the top. Um, so what's gonna happen is this is gonna turn colors. Um, it's kind of almost the size of a small apple right now. And I'm gonna leave them on the tree and it's gonna turn colors and kind of, um, it's gonna shrivel up a little bit and then it's gonna look resemble like a date. <laughs> or you can eat it. Um, before it shrivels up and it'll taste more like an apple-ish. Can't wait for that. My peach tree's got a lot of leaves on it. Seems to be doing well. No peaches. Still a fairly young tree. Probably needs to be in the ground. All these need to be in the ground. I just don't have ground yet to plant. My grapes are doing okay. They die, did die back some of the leaves um, because of the heat. And uh, I did have some grapes that I showed in the, the other update video and I wound up eating those. They, they were really, really small. Now look at this. So I put a 50-50% or a 50% shade cloth on top of my um, little plants here and it protects them from the, the Arizona, bright Arizona sun. Um, I got lots and lots of Tomatoes, really, really neat. The strawberries are doing well. I've eaten some strawberries off of there. They grow really small, but that's just the nature of this variety and being here in Arizona. Got a nice little pepper right here. Cool. My, my all-in-one almond tree has lots of, uh, lots and lots of growth excited about that. My other tomato plant. Got lots of tomatoes. This is my little, um, my mango tree I grew from seed. It probably has about six inches more growth from the last time that I filmed. And my pride and joy, my Barbados cherry tree, has lots of nice uh, growth on it. Um, I was getting really upset because every time I would get a lot of 
little fruit to set. We would have lots of wind and it would blow them off. I was able to eat like four or five of them, <laughs> which is nice, really cool. Another shot of the Barbados cherry tree as we walk around to the front. Yay, a tour of my townhome complex. <laughs> so this is where I live. This is my townhome complex. I've lived here for over 12 years. Cool little area. Got a pool over there that I can use when it's really hot outside. And I gotta deal with all the other people <laughs> that are using the pool. There's someone in there right now. What I normally will do is here, when it gets really warm, is I will bring my mangoes. I'll bring my mangoes over to this side, which or this is the eastern facing part of the house, so it gets morning sun, and obviously in the afternoon it's shaded. So what was happening is I did not like how my mangoes were growing, two of them. So what I did is I, I trimmed it. As I cut it off right there, pruned it, and I already got really, really Nice new growth, um, lots of new shoots coming up, which is really, really healthy for the tree. It'll make it more bushy and hopefully uh, it'll make it look better. Um, got lots of nice growth. One thing I noticed, all that growth up there is all new, which is really cool. Um, one thing I noticed about these mangoes is they do very well in the afternoon shade and with the heat, they love it. They love the heat. All that nice new growth on the top right there. This one I pruned way back as well and has new shoots growing out of the front of it there. Really cool. I did have some fruit set, um, but they didn't, uh, the trees are still really young, so I didn't let them um, grow because I wanted the, the, the energy to be put into um, the trees. And here's my little guava, pineapple guava and it's growing uh, pretty well as well. So there you go, a little update on my garden. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy gardening, it's relaxing. Sometimes it can be frustrating when things aren't um, growing the way they should, but that's okay, it's a learning process. I'm Matt Taylor, this has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Also down below, you'll find links to my other social media accounts, my other YouTube channel, in case you wanna check those out. Take care.